What goes on guys, we're here again with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome figure. We're going to be taking a look at the DC Injustice, um, I think it's just Injustice, I don't know if it's Injustice 2, it is Injustice 2, Injustice 2 Dr. Feet Platinum Edition. This will be my second Platinum Edition figure, um, and so far, these are the only two that I wanted. I have the Platinum All for One with the dull down arm. And I wanted this one because it's more classic inspired. I like the bright blue instead of the darker blue. Because obviously, ideally, I would love a classic just straight up Dr. Fate. But if we have to get this whack-ass Injustice version, then I'd rather it be a little bit more comic inspired. So until the, I will have this in my collection until the day Todd decides to make a classic Dr. Fate. But that'll never happen. So taking a look at the box, it's very much just your standard DC Multiverse box. You do get the Platinum logo. My buddy actually found this. At a GameStop for me, which is awesome. I didn't know GameStop were getting these so soon, let alone getting the Chase one. So that's awesome. See him in there. Dr. Fate, Injustice 2, as I kind of already figured out. Top, same. Here's the barcode if you guys need it. It's the same as the common one, so good luck with that. Dr. Fate on the side. But yeah, I'm very excited for this. I'm happy to have the Chase version. So with I didn't open this guy yet. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy. So, getting old Doc Fate out of the package here. This is a surprising figure. There's things that I really like about it, but then there's things that I wish were done a little bit differently. But for the most part, I'm super stoked to have this in my collection. As you guys probably know by now, I am not a video game collector and I'm not a movie collector, per se. I collect figures that I think could be fudged into a comic book display. And to me, this platinum version, since it's a lighter blue, I think you can pull that off as a modern, souped up Dr. Fate. Like, I really don't see, like, a complete difference from the comic books, like, what he looks like right now. Sure, would a non-detailed, non-overly detailed, smooth, completely classic Dr. Fate be awesome? 100%. And I would definitely sell this to get that one. But for what I have here, or what McFarlane made here... I gotta say, he's pretty awesome. Like, I never thought I'd have a Dr. Fate in my collection. And now that I do, I'm very happy to say that it turned out really good for what it is. Um, now, I'm just going to judge this action figure based off of the figure itself. Because I have no idea if it's accurate to the game. I've never played the video game itself. I've only watched, like, gameplay and, you know, just to follow the storyline. Because I like the Injustice storyline. But I never actually played the game. I'm not a video game person. I don't play video games very often. So I bought this simply for the fact of it's Dr. Fate. And I like Dr. Fate as a character from various animated movies, comic runs. I'm a big fan of him as a character. Um, hot take though in the comments. Uh, who do you think would win in a full-on, full-forced magic battle? Dr. Fate or Dr. Strange? Um... As much as I like Dr. Fate, I still think I got my money on Dr. Strange. But let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear that. Keep it respectful, though, people. But taking a look at the, the head here, look at that shiny-ass gold paint. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so smooth and painted very nicely. I love the shiny plastic and paint that they used on this guy. I love it. I like the whited out eyes. Again, more comic inspired. I, I think I would have painted them white if they had like actual pupils in them. So I like that I don't have to do that. You get the Egyptian hieroglyphs and scarab and crosses and all, you know, the, the rooks and things like that all across the body as you should for an Egyptian powered superhero. Um, if you want to call him a superhero, it's up to you, but it's debatable. I think he just does what he wants to do. But you know, you got the, the shoulder pads here that look really good, the gauntlets, the wrists are ugly as hell. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. they That is something I do not like. The, first of all, they don't even look like they're in all the way. I can't push mine in anymore. It won't go in anymore, and that's on both sides. So, I don't know, I guess they just sculpted it like that, which is really dumb. It makes it look so obnoxious, especially on the fist hand, I don't know. And... Why does he have a trigger finger hand? I don't... What? Who thought that was a good idea? Who said, yeah, let's give Dr. Fate a trigger finger hand? Like, why not just, like, an open magic hand? A fist in an open magic hand would be awesome. Like, wh 
What? That is so stupid, whoever decided that. Um... Now, I haven't seen the regular one in person yet. Believe it or not, I've only seen the Chase one. So that's it's kind of awesome. But you get the lighter blue along the sides here. The regular one is like a darker navy blue across there. So that's, you know, not much of a difference. But definitely, I think the classic one or the, the lighter blue is a better classic inspired. The cape is very soft and malleable and like this pale cream color that has like a nice fluorescent shine to it. And honestly, like if I get my light behind it, it does kind of show through. So if you want to play with your lights a little bit in your pictures, I think that you'd be able to get like a cool like light shining, like, you know, ethereal pose for this guy. I think that's awesome. Um, you know, the feet look good with the gold knee pads, gold shin pads that go on the back. Come on, yeah, we like that. We like when the back of the action figure is painted. Take notes, Hasbro. Peg holes at the bottom of the feet for this guy. So yeah. I think he looks really, really nice. Aside from the ugly ass wrists and the weird, stupid, useless, dumb trigger finger hand for Dr. Fate, I think it works. Um, but yeah, let's talk about accessories for this guy because it's an interesting conversation. Now, I may have been a little misleading with my last comment saying let's take a look at his accessories because he comes with none. Um, that is a big, big bummer. They gave the Injustice Flash a brand new sculpt, but they also gave him the the lightning running effects, which is cool. Like, that's cool. Why did we not get at least one magic effect for Dr. Fate? Come on now. That's not cool at all. That's not cool at all. He definitely needed an accessory or two. So I went ahead and took the liberty of finding two accessories that I think I'm going to try to pose him with. First off, I took the book from my buddy's Dr. Str Dr. Doom. Um, excuse me, Dr. Doom retro card figure, given the book. Um, this trigger, hand, I guess the, the grip hand is good for holding a book. You know, he looks good holding the book. And the other thing that I gave him is the effect, the eye effect from the basic figure, Far From Home Mysterio MCU figure. Go ahead, slap that on his ugly wrist. And then kind of what I was doing in my pictures was kind of having this bent like this and then tucking this peg behind it so it kind of looks like he's wielding some magic so i'm probably gonna have him posed exactly like this on the shelf but flying um i think these work for him you know he does like the the spells dr fate and dr strange are very similar characters if you're not certain the only thing is is dr stephen strange um has always been dr stephen strange Whereas there's been many mantles of Dr. Fate, whoever wields the helmet of fate um, kind of takes the persona and the responsibilities of Dr. Fate, which are also very similar to Dr. Strange. But I mean, that's really boiling, boiling it down. It's much more complex and interesting than that. But go read for yourself. There's a bunch of good books. He's in a lot of Justice League Dark um, iterations, which I'm a huge fan of the Justice League Dark. So go check them out. But yeah. No accessories for this guy. He does come with the flight stand, I believe. That crappy flight stand, which I didn't take out of my box. Sorry, and I'm not going to, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. So taking a look at Dr. Fate's articulation, the head does not move up at all, which is a big bummer. Um, but it's a, I'm a little bit more forgiving with a weird shaped helmet like this. So he obviously doesn't move down that much. So he only bobbles back and forth that much. You do get good pivot, but at a weird angle where the helmet is like around his ear. So you can bend it there, but like not by much as well. And you get full rotation and all of that. So I guess it's okay considering what it looks like. Shoulder pads are attached to the top of the bicep, which is good and bad. It's good because you can get it to swivel on top and it doesn't look super ugly. But then if you want to pose it kind of... Kind of gets a little wonky if you want to have his arm up like that. So not terrible, but I like it. They'll move up all the way down, rotate. You do get a nice butterfly joint in there. You just kind of got to work it around, make sure it's all good. Bicep swivel, great double jointed elbows that are not super ugly. I'm okay with that. And then the giant wrist ball hinge that you can put in any way you configure the ball joint. Now, something that I'm really, really happy with here is the diaphragm joint. Look at that pivot to the side. That's some great pivot. Tuck it back in. You just got to make sure the overlay is tucked into the belt. Going all the way to the other side. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Going back. I'd say that's far enough. I mean, that's like pretty much 90. 
But then where I was really happy was McFarland's kind of known for not going forward. This guy actually goes forward. He actually crunches forward. So I'm very happy with that. It also rotates so you can get all kinds of movement in there. I'm really, really happy with that. You just got to be mindful of the overlay on overlapping onto the belt. Now the hips are a little restricted. They only move out that much, down that much. He'll only kick forward about that far, which isn't actually bad. Back a little bit, no thigh cut, of course. Double jointed knees that go all the way up and are not ugly at all, very well implemented. I like them. No swivel, you do get a swivel at the ankle, hinge, pivot, and a toe joint. So yeah, I think the articulation's really, really good on this guy. Probably the bat, one of the best from the DC Multiverse line so far in terms of pure articulation. So, of course, I know you guys are asking it. Yo, Ant, what are you thinking of this figure? And I gotta say, aside from a couple little dumb decisions on McFarlane's part, I really like this action figure. I think they did a really good job. I'm happy to say that I have a Dr. Fate on my shelf now because that is something I never thought I would have because there hasn't really been a good Dr. Fate figure. But this is good. Until the day that McFarlane or whoever gets the license eventually or whatever happens makes a good classic super articulated Dr. Fate, I'm good with this on my shelf. If I was to give this a rating, I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. I really don't like the giant ball hinges at the wrist. That's so ugly. Implement them better. Come on. Like, sometimes they kill it. Like, just for instance, like, on the on the spawn, they subsided them more into the gauntlet, so it's not completely bulging. I don't know why they didn't do that here. It's a very similar setup, but that I don't like. The lack of accessories kills this thing for me. If I could forgive the ball hinge joints. But the fact that there's no accessories other than a flight stand is really, really whack to me. So I'm not happy about that. But, you know, I got, I worked it out with things that I have lying around. I like when I can use accessories that I have so I don't have to buy more figures to get just pure accessories. And all these little pieces don't go to waste. So I'm happy with that. But I think that's all I got. I really enjoy this guy. Go pick yourself up one. Good luck hunting on the chase. Um, I'm sure the, the com I'm not going to be getting the comment. I only need one, but I'm sure the comment is just as good as the chase one. For me personally, I like the more classic inspired look, but if you're a big fan of the game, you might want the regular one a little bit more, or you might want both. So let me know what you guys are going to be looking for. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to get to a hundred followers or subscribers soon. Um, follow me on Instagram at Zach toys for pictures and content of this and many other figures. But I think that's all I got for today. So I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.